Christianity is just boring. It takes the fun out of life. You only have one life to live and it's my job not to waste it. And so I'm not going to stay in some hard pew in a stuffy church just wasting it. No, I, I'm going to live my life to the fullest and actually enjoy my life, you know? Have you ever thought something along these lines? Well, I know I have, but I want us to think together about it for a second. What is Christianity? I mean, at its core, it's not about popular worship bands or about celebrity pastors or about televangelists. No, at its core, Christianity is about Christ. Jesus Christ. In John 1 verse 4 to 5 it says, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. John 3 19 says this, This is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and men love the darkness rather than the light, for their deeds were evil. You see, we think we can live a life of meaning and purpose without Jesus. Like we're fine on our own and we can do it all by ourselves. But the Bible presents a very different reality. Without Jesus, we are in bondage to our sin. We are in bondage to darkness. We love the darkness rather than the light and that has serious consequences. Romans 6 23 says this, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Jesus our Lord. Remember back in John, in him was life. We can now see a clear distinction. Sin leads to death and Jesus is the life and leads us to new life in him. James 1 14 to 15 says this, but each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Then after desire is conceived, it gives birth to sin and sin when it is full grown gives birth to death. It's a sobering reality. Our sin leads to death. But you look at Jesus and you think, how could anybody reject him who is the life, who is full of life, who is willing to give us eternal life? How could they reject him? But we go back in John and see this. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. We can see clearly the rejection of Jesus as we look at the cross. They killed the Savior. They reject him, rejected him. They didn't receive him. Through his death on the cross, he bore all our sin, guilt, and shame all him on himself so that we could be free. And on the third day, he resurrected from the grave, defeating sin and death. This is what John is talking about. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not overcome it. The darkness of sin could not overcome Jesus, and he demonstrated this by his sinless life. The darkness of death could not overcome Jesus, and he demonstrated this through his resurrection. He is the Savior, and yet the world continues to reject him and mock him. So my question for you is, have you received him or have you rejected him? Have you considered the sinful pleasures of this world greater than the one who came to free you from them? The truth is, is that we have all rejected Jesus and rebelled against him, either through our words or through our deeds. But here's the good news. In John 1, 12, it says this, But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Today, you have the opportunity to become a child of God. And with all your heart, I'm asking you to embrace him. Ask God to give you the faith and convict you of your sin and see Jesus as the light and the life that you so desperately need. See all of his forgiveness and his mercy and receive it. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something from it. It's my mission to help you find Jesus and follow him daily. If that's a mission you want to get behind, I'd ask you to help partner with me on patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple. Link in my bio. Through your support, this ministry keeps going and growing. It is a tremendous blessing. So thank you so much, guys. I will be back with more videos, so subscribe. Um, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. God bless.